open to somebody already standing in it. Oh God. Seems like in every prayer that I pray, I got to ask another prayer to make that prayer active. So it seems like you just praying for prayers. Yeah. And none of them is coming true. But God said, hold on. Hold on. And don't lose faith. Because I'm well on my way. I didn't just leave. I didn't just hear you, but I heard you a long time ago. And I'm almost there now. He said, I could just wink my eye and be there. He said, but then you wouldn't have no testimony. But because I'm trying to work a testimony in your life, I'm taking my time to get to you. He said, but when I get there, I said, when I get there, every demon, every devil that's holding you down, I'm going to make it loose you. Never open them up uh, and 
see what they're capable of doing. Uh, Saints of God, I'm telling you, uh, spread your wings uh, and find your capability. Uh, Y'all didn't hear me. Uh, I said, spread your wings uh, and find your capability. Uh, let your prayer uh, ring out. Uh, Desire for 
do in front of what God wants to do for us. Let me go to God. Let me go to God. in what 
what you praying. Uh, he said, you ain't can't even imagine uh, what I can do for you. Said, we ought to obey God rather than men. 
The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so it is also the Holy Ghost whom God hath given to them that obey him. Oh, God. Thank you, brother. <laughs> now we see why sometimes uh, our prayer becomes ineffectual. Uh, you don't hear me? Uh, in other words, we can see now uh, why our prayer uh, is not being heard. Uh, we can see now uh, why our prayer uh, is seemingly not answered. Uh, oh, because uh, we got a prayer uh, without any obedience. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, you got to pray uh, and then you got to obey uh, what the prayer. Uh, you see, God just ain't going to turn loose uh, your blessing without an answer. Uh, but if you pray, uh, God is going to talk to you first uh, about what you pray for. Uh, and if they agree uh, with what you pray about, uh, then he's going to give an answer. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, some of y'all Praying for a car. Don't think a car is just going to show up in your driveway. But God is going to ask your spirit what you need this car for. What you intend to do with this car. Is you going to go to church like you say you're going to go? Or you going to find something else to do? But he ain't going to wait for your answer. He's going to look into your heart and he's going to to see, uh, he already know uh, because he walked through time uh, at the point you were asking for it. Uh, he walked through time uh, into your future uh, and saw uh, what you were going to do uh, after you got the car. Uh, so then he walked back in time, uh, got back in your face uh, and said, hey, this time uh, I'm not going to lease no car uh, unto you uh, because if I do you're going to stray away but you would change it you know what pansy be you know what pansy is a pushover someone that goes with whatever flows because uh, what, I, you know what you know what it is what's that word uh, that passive it's, it's the aggressive passiveness passive aggressive Y'all recognize that word instead of passing. And you know what that is? I'm strong until someone says something against what I say. And even though I know it's right, oh, you might be right. Right? Oh, God gonna bless you when he ain't blessed you yet, have you? He sure ain't. That's a pansy. Uh, <clears throat> well, let me tell you what God is looking for. You know, honey, I'm going to get me a status. Uh, listen, Dem. Well, I ain't going to call you a Dem. Listen, Letitia. You can believe whatever you want to, but in five days, they'll be dropping that Mercedes. Somebody said, I got my old husband. Been married to a 
a long time. Well, if you allow your own faith to take control of your own husband, God will make a brand new husband. Coming to church, talking about their husband ain't doing the right, or their wife ain't doing the right. Get on your knees and bring it to God's attention, and then go home and look for a difference. If your prayer can make a mountain be removed into the ocean, if your prayer can bring down the stumbling blocks, if your prayer can move a mountain, uh, then your husband is not a, as heavy as a mountain. Uh, and it only takes God a little flick uh, to knock him into line. Uh, good God, about it, don't pray uh, that he kill your husband uh, or kill your wife. Uh, but tell God I'm praying uh, that you take this old person uh, and make a new person out of it. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, why am I going down this way? Uh, somebody is all big up uh, and can't serve God uh, because of what they're going through uh, in their house. Uh, but I came to let you know uh, let faith come alive uh, and let the alive uh, come loose in your home. Uh, put your foot down. Uh, Y'all don't hear me. Uh, put your foot down uh, with honor uh, and bring don't go home uh, sticking your hands uh, up in their face. Uh, talk about what God said. Uh, Meek and humble uh, is the way. Uh, God said, uh, just use the word uh, and the power of faith. Uh, and I will, uh, will uh, straighten out your home. If you believe, uh, what I said, uh, I give you uh, four weeks uh, uh, and the problem uh, uh, that is in your home uh, uh, right now, uh, God will move it out. Uh, I told you uh, uh, that God wants to do something here today. Uh, and if you believe what I'm preaching right now, uh, and there's a problem in your home, uh, I don't care how big the problem is. Uh, if you believe uh, that if I increase my faith uh, and speak the things uh, that I mean to happen uh, in four weeks' time, uh, God said I'm going to make it right. Uh, if I have to break them, uh, I'm going to make it right. Uh, in order for this to happen some of y'all might have to visit you might have to visit these steps good God Almighty but I came to find out is you too big to visit the steps oh God is you too hard hearted to visit the steps are you too set in your own way to visit the steps because at the last day when it's all said and done it's what God said that counts in it I don't care how you kick against it I don't care what they tell you it's still going to be like God said And he told me, Kim, uh, if you have faith uh, about the size uh, of a mustard seed, uh, I know you a city girl, uh, might not never uh, see a mustard seed uh, in your life, uh, but a mustard seed uh, is about the size uh, of a blackhead uh, under your skin. Uh, you see one of them, did you? He said, if your faith uh, is that size, uh, you can tell uh, your husband and all your wine uh, to let's get together uh, and do this like it's supposed to be done. Uh, and God said, I'll move uh, in your favor. Uh, why in your favor? Uh, because your life uh, is hid uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, and if I'm going to do something uh, in your family, uh, I'm going to do it for the one uh, whose life is hid. <laughs> Thank you.
Did he preach to them? Yes! God haven't forgot evening star because he made a promise to Lily and Earl Mabry. He made a promise that there was going to be a holy nation come from out under what she started. He didn't say who the pastor was going to be when that holy nation uh, came to full, full quotation. Uh, but I'm proud to be one of them uh, who helped get it in line. Uh, and it's going to take preaching like this getting you to recognize what you are and who you are to God. Uh, I don't care what kind of condition your body is right now. Uh, God can still use you. Uh, no, he's he just giving you a testimony. That's all he's giving you. He's going to have you deal with some more folk. they got to come up just like you did. Uh, and he needs somebody to say, I've been there and I've done that. And God is still with me. All the preaching on here. But in my clothes. I want to say come what me it's still yes it's still yes it's still yes stand up for me you two stand up stand up stand up Stand up. Anybody that's in the choir that's here today, stand up right where you Stand up where you and, and you tell me, yes. Tell me, yes. Come on.
question. Y'all say yeah.
don't want nobody else to know about it. He said, I move in your faith. He said, I'll do it for you. You said it yet. You said it. This is the day. I think this is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. And it's the day that we're supposed to rejoice and be glad in it, and I'm not mistaken. And it's the day that we're supposed to so celebrate. Oh, yeah. Do you really want to have something to celebrate? Oh. So how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Glory. See, but I ain't asking this question for you to move tomorrow or later on. This question we asked for right now, God. This deserves a response from you right now. Excuse me. It deserves a response from you. Tell how bad do you want it? Regardless of how you're feeling right now, your state of mind, the very condition of your heart, it deserves a response from you right now. Saints of God, it deserves a response from tongue speakers. It deserves a response from you yeah. right now. Oh. Oh. Mothers, it deserves a response. Deacons, saints, and friends, it deserves a response. We said yeah. yeah. We said yeah. yeah. It deserves a response. So from this point on, most, when I give this mic back to Vinny, brother, do whatever you feel. The Spirit of God is going to move. And I believe you can make something happen. And you can make something happen. But the thing is, the response is now, uh, the, it's up to them. How bad do they want it? How bad do you want it? I think this is my kind of said like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said what he said. People come to church and perpetrate frauds. He said the same thing, but he didn't, and I just said it different. I'm just saying it just cut and dry. You really perpetrate the fraud, or you really want something from God. Your response from this moment when I get back this mic determines whether you perpetrate the fraud or not. I'm not calling nobody a liar. You don't want to say yes. You said yes, and you said everything at that moment. And then you know what I said? So, God bless you. There you go. Listen, real quick. We got to do this very, very quick. The Lord revealed this while Bishop was preaching. There's two folk in here that have to be prayed for. Come, on, you one of them. Uh, and I want you to sit right there on the second step. We have to pray for you, for strength, and for your mind, because there is trouble coming. And our elder neighbor is the other person. We're praying for you, for strength, and for your mind, because there is trouble coming. We're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for her first, then we ask you to come. And we're praying for your strength, because trouble is coming. And I want y'all to come on, stand on your feet. Come on, stand on your feet. We're gonna, we're gonna.